啊。My name is Afu. Welcome to Afu ABC, a blended cooking show where I blend English learning and cooking together. 大家好，我是阿福，欢迎来到阿福 ABC. Teacher's Day is coming. That's right. In Taiwan, Teacher's Day is on September 28th, which is the birthday of Confucius, who is the most well-known philosopher slash teacher in Chinese history. His teaching has an unarguable impact on the Chinese culture. It shapes how we, as an ethnic group, Think, behave, and interact with each other. To think about how someone's ideology could transform the whole society, it is quite dumbfounding. Other than Teacher's Day in Taiwan, there is a more universal Teacher's Day called World Teacher's Day, which is on October 5th. It was established on UNESCO in 1994. So today, in honor of all the teachers around the world, I'm going to show you top five Teacher's Day related phrases and idioms. Let's get started. Before we get into our top five Teacher's Day related idioms and phrases, I'm going to make myself a Teacher's Day inspired drink to quench my thirst. Let me put on my apron first. So when it comes to Teacher's Day, the first fruit that pops in my head is apple. That's right. Right here, I have a medium-sized apple. I'm going to cut it into four pieces. And because I'm a firm believer of whole food concept, I'm not going to deceive them. Okay, and I have water right here. I'm going to add 500 milliliters to the container. And I have almonds right here. I'm going to add a cup of almonds. And I have oatmeal right here. I'm going to add another cup of oatmeal. And to add some spice to go with the apple flavor, I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. Well, that's about right. <laughs> And because I'm a sweet tooth myself, I'm going to add brown sugar, just a teaspoon as well. All right, and here goes the apple. Right, so I'm going to turn it on to the full speed and then blend it until it's smooth. All right, so let's go. It really depends on how powerful your blender is, so、uh, you know, just pick the right blender. Look how smooth it is. Okay, cheers. Really, really good. Very creamy and really tasty, and tastes so refreshing and hearty. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into our phrases and idioms. Go. 
The first phrase that I'm going to show you is called to teach someone a lesson. To teach someone a lesson. Although you might think this phrase is somehow positive and applied to normal situation, this expression actually contains some negative connotation. It means that you want to show someone what should not be done in the future as a result of experience. And that experience usually contains some pretty aggressive action, either verbally or physically. In Chinese, we have a pretty similar expression that is called or Have you heard? Jason James got caught. Oh yeah, that's great. I'm sure they'll teach them a lesson. The second phrase I'm going to show you is teacher's pet. Teacher's pet. No, it's not the cat that your teacher tries so eagerly to show you on his or her phone. Teacher's pet is actually another negative term that we use to talk about brown nosers in school. You know, the one who likes to snitch behind everyone's back to gain favor from the teacher? Since it's a pretty negative term, I recommend not saying this to anyone. Oh, and brown noser that I just mentioned also has a similar term in Chinese, which is ma pi jing. Ah! Bulbasaur got A in his report again. He's such a teacher's pet. I know. He always brings a teacher rare candies. Such a brown noser. The third idiom is called teaching your grandmother to suck eggs. Teaching your grandmother to suck eggs. What? Sucking eggs? Grandmother? Uh -huh. I know. Not only us Easterners are confused by this pretty weird expression, even some Westerners are also perplexed by this expression. It means that you try to give advice to someone about a subject that they already know about, and perhaps more than you do. In Chinese, we also have a pretty similar proverb to this, which is called Ban Men Nong Fu. Do you know that I just trying to give advice to a gym leader on how to battle? Oh my, how embarrassing! Doesn't he know that he's teaching his grandmother to suck eggs? The fourth idiom is you can't teach an old dog new tricks. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Again, this phrase also has a pretty negative connotation. It means that you can't teach new skills or behaviors to someone whose habits are set in their ways. And quite inappropriately, this phrase is usually used to talk about someone who's relatively older. Age shaming is not cool. And also, dogs are so smart, I don't even think we need to teach them any new tricks. They are perfect just the way they are. Come on, just take a look at my dog, Tintin, right here. I can't stop Rachel. Who doesn't even know how to surf? Really? I guess you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Oh. Ah. The fifth idiom is those who can do, those who can't teach. Those who can do, those who can't teach. Yeah, I know. Another negative saying about teachers. The meaning is quite literal. Assuming teachers are teachers because they can't do well in the workplace and resort to teaching. It attacks the competence of teachers because of their career choice. Quite interestingly, it actually indicates how teachers get paid less, work more, without even earning the respects from society. It is pretty intriguing how we view this occupation. That's the team. I can't believe that Ash is trying to teach me how to battle. He thinks he knows how to fight. You know what they say, those who can't do, those who can't teach. Ha! There you have it. These are the top five Teacher's Day related phrases and idioms. I think it sort of reflects the general attitude toward the concept of teaching and teachers. In Chinese culture, because of Confucianism, we respect teachers so much that we even have idioms like meaning, he who teaches me for one day is my father for life. It's pretty heavy, 
but showing how noble teachers are in Chinese culture. I can't tell you which point of view is better, it's not my place to judge. This video is merely to point out the difference between cultures. Personally, I'm extremely grateful for all the teachers I have in my life. I might not consider them as my fathers or my mothers, but I definitely respect them a lot. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Happy Teacher's Day! Bye!